Hi everyone, welcome back to another GarageBand how-to. In today's how-to, we're going to look at how to import MP3 files into GarageBand. This can also be done, uh, the same thing can be done for WAV files, any type of audio files, and MIDI files as well. Open up your GarageBand project. Uh, I just have an empty session right here. And what we're gonna wanna do is, instead of going up here to like file import or anything, what we're going to have is open up a finder window. So press command tab on your Mac and then locate this uh, window here. It's the finder and then locate your file. In my case, it's under downloads a guitar loop. So at this moment, you just click and drag into your GarageBand session here. Notice how my finder window is small and to the left corner. Make your small as well, or if it's not, sometimes you might not have room to drag it in if it if your finder window is so big like this. So click and drag into GarageBand, let go, and there it's inside. Now you'll have to click and drag to where you want to be placed in the session, but that's how to import um, MP3s, WAV files, MIDI files in, in GarageBand. At this moment, this is where the, the fun starts. You have to make sure to change the tempo of whatever your file is. If it's a sample, it doesn't really matter. But in this case, this would be a main guitar loop that I want to build the song around. So I know this guitar loop is in a tempo of 97. So I'd go up here to my tempo, press 97, and now I can loop it at the top. have a perfect guitar loop ready to go. So I could go to the ends of the loops, press Command T to cut both of those, or I can also right click, split at playhead, and delete these empty sections. I could now go up here to a new track and just right away add a drummer track that's gonna be perfectly in time with this loop. song ready to go. So that's how to import mp3s, also wave and midi files into GarageBand. Thanks for sticking around for this how-to and uh, I'll see you in the next one.